Same size. Couldn't you fetch me some more tomorrow? Why are you sitting up in this old tree? I'm thinking. You're always thinking nowadays. I don't think because I don't remember anything to think about. Well, that's nothing to be proud of, is it? I want to do things and see things and learn about things that I will remember. Do you know I've only read two books? I've read the Bible. I don't think I read all of it. And Robinson Crusoe. What about our book? Oh, that's no use. It might be one day. You'll know when to raise your hat and send flowers. And what to do when you meet someone you know in a punt on the river. I don't want to know what to do when I meet someone I know in a punt on the river. I just want to get away from here. Do you know what Monday is? Hmm? Ten years. We've seen ships, Michael. One day one of them will see us. I wish you'd stop saying that. We might stay here forever without anyone finding us. You know that quite well. Michael, I was so happy until I came up here. You haven't even looked at my new dress. I caught a turtle this afternoon. It was right up on the beach. Come back and help me with it, Michael. It'll be getting dark soon. Come on. Oh, all right. And you see, now I've found out about those trees, I shall make lots of dresses the same way. Also, I can make some curtains and some tablecloths and mats and all sorts of things. Could you make a sail for the boat? A sail? I don't know. Why? Well, if we had a sail, we could sail away from here and go on and on until we reached land. If we knew where it was. But we don't know where it is. But if we sailed away on a straight course, we'd find land sooner or later. Oh, Michael. Well, how do we know there's not land 50 miles away in a straight line? Which straight line? Well, it doesn't matter which line. We could try them all. Em. If I repaired the boat, I built a mast. I could make a barrel for water and I could fill the boat with food. It would last us for weeks. If you hadn't found out how to make that dress, I would never have thought of this. Don't you see, Em? It's our one chance. Can't you see I'm busy? Oh, come on, you never eat now when it's ready. I'll be back soon. But you won't finish the boat any faster. And I've cooked such a nice meal for you. The big shellfish that I caught off. <laughs> now look what you made me do. And it's nothing to laugh about either. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. You only come here to annoy me, that's all. I came to tell you it's dinner time. I know when it's dinner time, I don't have to be told. Then why don't you come when it's ready? Because I'll come when I'm ready. Just hang around and keep on keeping on a minute I'm sick of the sight of you. Can I of the side of you too. You're nothing but a bad temper. Oh, shut up!
What are you doing sitting up here? If you're sick of the sight of me, I'm better out of your way. I'm not sick of the sight of you, Em. I only said it because I hit my finger. You're always saying things like that now. I'm sorry. Em, the dinner's getting cold. All right, go and eat it. Aren't you coming with me? I'm not hungry. Em, you know those big beads you wanted for your comb? I'll dive for them if you want me to. I don't want them now. Oh, yes, you do. You know you do. I don't. I'll get you lots and lots. And when I found the big ones, I'll make a necklace for you with the ones left over. Come on, Em. That's the first time you've ever hit me. I didn't mean to. I'll never do it again, Em. won't be able to find three beads the same size anyway. Oh, I bet you I will. I'll go on diving till I do. Come on, Em, let's go down and eat. It'll be stone cold by now. It won't be worth eating. Well, then I'll warm it up. I'll make something fresh. You're a terrible cook, Michael. Yes, I know. I'll watch you cook, then. You are silly. And I'm certain he spoke this morning. I was a little way away at the time, washing some clothes. But I'm sure he said goodnight. Anyway, it sounded like it. I tried to make him say it again, but he wouldn't. I've been teaching him for weeks now. Good morning, good night, good morning, good night, over and over again. I'm sure he knows it off by heart now, but he didn't show any sign. Not until this morning, that is. And even then, he might have been croaking for his food or something. I... What's wrong, Michael? What are you looking at? Where did you get that spot in your arm? It's always been there. A birthmark, you must have seen it before. Yeah, I suppose I have. I, I must have, mustn't I? The uh, tide will be just about right for diving for the beads in the morning. Uh, I have to get up early, though. Uh, as soon as it's light, that'll give me about three hours. And then if I haven't got enough by the time it's dark, I shall have to start again the next day. Yes, Michael, yes. 